Welcome back to another video. Closure here, and today we are looking at the top 5 bag add-ons. A couple years back, I did a video on this very topic, but things have changed since then, and I thought I'd do a refresher. If you're coming back to WoW after a break, or are a first time player, then let me be your guide. Long returning players will probably remember this bag. You couldn't even move the damn thing. It would just sit there, like a bad date. Well, not anymore. We're now spoiled with this beauty, and it comes packed with some neat features that we used to need add-ons for. Also, if you don't mind me saying, just look at those curves. You naughty, naughty girl. We now have the ability to see our loot in one big bag, and we can now organize our bags with the touch of a button. Need to find an item by its name? Here's a search bar. Lastly, we can also enable the automated junk selling feature, so that we can open a vendor and automatically just delete all rogues from the game. I, I mean, auto sells all of your gray items. Psst, hey you there. Still looking for more features? Don't you worry, I've got what you came for. In this video, I'll be covering some of the most popular bag add-ons and what they do best. Mind you, there will be a bit of overlap in their functions as some of them have identical features just executed in unique and interesting ways. Now I've been painstakingly stockpiling shit in my vault for years to make this video. Some of you may call this hoarding, but I'm hoping most of you will see this selfless act of preparation as just another justification of my heroic nature. I mean, they built a statue of me in Stormwind for Pete's sake, you know the one. So without further ado, starting with the basics, we have Bagnon. Now this used to be my number one recommendation to players who wanted a better bag add-on, but did not know what they wanted out of their bag add-on. It was a simple upgrade to the retail bag experience that made this an easy choice, and it's still a very popular add-on. It's got a clean look, but the default bag has a pretty clean look too nowadays. It's got the cleanup function, sure, but so does the retail default bag. My issue with Bagnon, simply put, is that the wild devs have really closed the gap between the default player bag experience and Bagnon. But it's not all gloom and doom. While the default bag UI in World of Warcraft now includes features like item sorting and a search bar, Bagnon still offers some additional conveniences like managing inventory across different characters and locations without needing to visit a bank or storage point. This is particularly useful for players with multiple characters or excessive inventories. You can now change the width or height of the bag. You can color each item based on item type. And what I like about Bagnon has this little bar over here that allows you to easily access all of its cool features at a click of a button. Bagnon really provides the icing to the cake, an introduction, if you will, to the great quality of life a good inventory management add-on can provide. Maybe there's still hope for you yet, Bagnon. Hang in there. As I was editing this video, I noticed Bagnon had stopped working. The GitHub suggested that the author had not updated it for the War Within pre-patch, which is understandable. Add-on authors are people with real lives too. But like a classic knight in shining armor, Beowulf's <laughs> comment came to my rescue. It reads, Ditched Bagnon for Baganator. Now, I know what you're thinking. Closure knows how to read? <laughs> no, you're thinking, what the fuck is Baganator? I thought the same thing, so I installed the damn thing and, well, would you look at what we have here? It's Bagnon, but better. Sure, at first glance, you pretty much see the same add on, but what makes it superior is just the placement of things. This is definitely one for subjectivity, so prepare your grains of salt. It's just got the right buttons in the right places. It integrates with the default WoW UI better, which is my favorite UI look for the game. The button layout feels like it makes better use of the space, and I guess that's because it pops the bags out at the top. And it's got this cute little fanny pouch at the bottom for the reagents. The features, for the most part, are identical to something like Bagnon. But the reason I put both in this video is for you to decide between the two. 
because from here on out, we will be exploring other alternatives that really put the bag in bag add-on. Also, you can't give beer to a wolf. Now, as you progress down this list, we're trying not to cover the same features the previous bag covered. This next add-on is quite close to my heart. Just kidding, I've never used it once in my fucking life. It goes by the name of Ark Inventory, and by God is it ugly. But for each and every point I deduct for looking like me during puberty, it gets 100 points for functionality. I mean, where do we begin? It has a category for void storage? I don't even know that was in the fucking game anymore. Using this cogwheel, you can do just some of the following. Assign items to a category of your choice. Assign unlimited number of bars. Sort each bar differently exactly how you like it. Create your own sorting methods for loot. Create individual timers and rules. Basically, you can customize the visual look and feel of every pixel. Look, Simba, everything the light touches is our kingdom. Wow. I mean, maybe I just find it ugly because I haven't taken the time to actually tweak it to make it look like the bag of my dreams. And to be honest, I never will because who the fuck has time for that? But it's cool that you can do it. Functionality is always a plus in my book. If you really want a full review on this add-on, let me know by typing a cute little comment for me below. Or you can just carve your comment right into my forehead. I'll read it either way. I bring before you one of the most unique add-ons that have ever graced the high refresh rate gaming monday in my musky basement. If you want a bag add-on that takes you back to your Skyrim days, then look no further. We're talking about Sorted. Does this add-on do anything super unique under the hood? No. But like many of the popular bag add-ons, it's not always what it does, but how it does it. Just look at how your items are displayed in such a unique and vibrant way. You have equipment sets, quick filters, a currency pop-out, a disenchantment button that's right there in the bag. What's that little bitch? Don't like the list? Fine, you can swap it out to a grid view. You can even remove the circle icons for square ones. You can sort items by expansion, value, and create your own categories. Don't believe me? Watch how I create my own category right here for my very own hopes and dreams. <laughs> I can't wait to see how it turns out. Oh my God. Visualizing this is really doing wonders for my mental state right now. Hey, you, are finally awake. You. Sorted feels to me like it's leaning into the RPG more than the MMO, and I love it for that. It's add-ons like these that make me glad that Blizzard have add-on functionality to begin with. And so with that being said, which add-on do I find myself using? Now before I get into that, I should preface that what bag you choose will ultimately come down to personal preference. For example, somebody who plays one character with no professions does not need something like Ark Inventory. It's overkill. It's all about striking that balance with what you need out of a bag and when you need it. And to me, that balance is perfectly provided by better bags. Now at first glance, some of you bag enthusiasts out there may be thinking, hold up, this looks familiar. That's because it's Addy Bags. You're right. Well, kind of. Now, Addy Bags was not perfect. For example, it had this annoying issue where it would bombard you with unnecessary default currencies that made the bag look like a real mess until you remove them. I mean, who is still keeping track of their ancient mana from Legion? An expansion that launched, what, three years ago? <laughs> Legion launched eight years ago? What the f- Now, thankfully, all of that has been added to the side window where you can select the currencies you want and it adds them to the bottom bar so seamlessly. Also, I know I said personal preference here, but you just have to love how easy it is to set up. I mean, this is standard, out of the box. 
and just look at how all of my items are categorized so wonderfully. No scroll menu like what Sorted has to offer. Instead, you get all of it in a nice compartmentalized glance. I especially love how when you pick up an item, it first shows it up here in like a temporary recent items category, which vanishes after a while. It's just great. It does most of what the previous add-ons can do with the cleanest, easiest setup ever. It really is the perfect blend of complexity meets ease of use, and I'm sure you will love it a bit. Now I know some of, if not all these bag add-ons, had some overlap in their features. But I hope I showcase to you what I believe they each did best, and what new ideas some of them brought to the table. I hope this video helped you pick a new forever bag add-on. Let me know what you chose in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and eat some vegetables for crying out loud. You look like shit. My name's Closure, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.